How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Good. I said I'd see you in a couple of months. I know. I? I was going to say, here we are. Well, we go way back. But don't worry about it. Back. Have you done other films? Don't worry about it. We don't talk about it. Congratulations on the film, guys. Thank you. Thank um, you. After Fallout, I didn't think you guys could, could top. It was like pushed right up into the echelons of like yeah. greatness. And somehow done it again. Must be. But after Rogue, did you think we could do it? Of course. Okay, I just want to back it up a bit. <laughs> and <laughs> we always get every time we finish a film, it's like I mean, we ask ourselves, can we? What's the next What's... step? Can we beat that? You see Tom falling off a helicopter and think, oh, well, that's it now. But Tom and McHugh always just, they never ever. Can we ever... go deeper? Can we go higher? Yeah, and they always do. They're never satisfied, really, and they always know they can push it. Yeah, I was I was wondering after see was it Fast and Furious Nine when they went to space, how Tom and McHugh were, th were feeling. Whether they'd they be didn't to really space. go to no, space, they did they? No, we, they did if we did it, we, we would, would go, go to space. space. <laughs> that the next, that's the next big thing, right? Yeah. He is doing a space film, isn't he? I think so, with I've Doug heard. Lyman, but I don't know. Um, I wanted to ask you, Rebecca, about the eye patch and about how much fun that was, because I have to say that was quite... It's quite cool, it's isn't quite it? A Do you know what? It's I want it to become look. a gif. I just want this. Yeah. <laughs> and if it wasn't, I'm going to be now. One, two, three. Tim, Tim um, well, he kind of got, kind of gets an eye patch, didn't he? He gets the glasses. You'd yes, think that the reason for the eye patch is a cool one. Um, it is not, alas. It's because um, you can't wink, isn't it? It's because I can't fucking wink. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He lined up the shot. I took it. I was ready. I was breathing, and he goes, "Now close your eye." And I went. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, "Now close the one eye." Okay, other shot, other angle. Close the eye. <laughs> Anyway, can we get an eye patch? Anyone? <laughs> There's nothing more to it than that. But out of, su out of such circumstances, wink. beautiful things are born. It's like, you know, that's yeah. mission all the way. You can't yeah. give me everything. Do you we, know what I we mean? We hit an obstacle, we pivot, and the pivot always makes it better. Yeah. I was going to say, talking of pivots, this is, this must, this is, I know you, in the last film, you obviously went along into a long time in the shooting in terms of Tom breaking his thing. Obviously, you had COVID with this. He did break his thing. He broke his thing. Bang, I said bang, thing, bang, bang. I, meant, I meant ankle. That sounds like <laughs> nothing. a whole different movie. Anything. Um, is it now good for you guys now to be able to talk about it because it was supposed to be out you know two years ago and mm. everything else but this was one of those movies that kind of helped the industry get back up on its feet because tom was very precise about yeah we wrote sure. the rule book on how to make yeah. a movie how to make a movie during a pandemic <laughs> <laughs> tom cruise <laughs> has yeah. has <laughs> and masks and things no it did it you know there was a lot of things that came from it i mean it was a horrible time for everyone and mm. yeah i don't want to talk about it in any joyous way mm. One thing that was phenomenal was the security that they shaped for us to be able to shoot. That did set the ripple effect for people to see it works. Mm. And I think for us, something for me was to arrive Venice after it had not been touched by people. The water was so clear. Mm. It was so beautiful. We had space. It was just a completely different environment, yet in a mission setting. It was very confusing. We always need a bit of pressure on the outside to make it work on the inside. On the inside. That there's always a Mission Impossible going along side yeah. our Mission Impossible, yeah, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that helped, I think. And it, it, that's the thing. McHugh is the guy that will see a crisis and he'll turn it into an opportunity. I always, I always think of Homer Simpson in that episode of The he Simpsons. He'll also see an opportunity. Crisis unity. I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. I did it. You did it. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Uh, this, and uh, people talk about kind of franchise fatigue and all this kind of stuff, but this seems to be the franchise that just keeps getting better and better. Why yeah. do you think this series is so popular? Why do you think this is kind of set aside from, from everything else? I have else? a theory about this. Can I take this one? I think yours is going to be so much better than mine, so go. I, what I, I feel believe... is... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we, we have... This, this, this franchise has two lives. It started out as the franchise that always had an eclectic, had an eclectic mix of directors. De Palma, Wu, Abrams, uh, Bird, Macquarie. As soon as oh. Macquarie came on board on Ghost Protocol, Tom and McHugh form their little kind of, you know, incra crazy sort of bond that they have and creative partnership. And then there was this second wave, enter Rebecca Ferguson, where they just really drilled down on the characters, on the continuity of it. McHugh has a beautiful understanding of the entire thing. And so then you have this kind of ever increasing uh, sort of stakes and passion and excitement that comes from McHugh and Tom's sort of insane sort of creative romance. Yeah. Anyway, what did you think? I don't agree. So what I feel, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really know how to add on that. I also love the hand. I stopped listening for a while Why? because your hand just went continuity. It it's because I've just been in Italy. It's been like this. They have this continuity. <laughs> I have to say quickly before I go, 
Is Tim Beasley coming back? I look oh, at this. Hair. Yeah, I mean, no, I that's just, literally the first thing I saw when I. I had the, I've had the same haircut for three <laughs> effing years. It's and fun I was, what mission does to us. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I am changing my hair for the press tour. Yeah. yeah. When I saw Amy, our makeup designer, she went. What oh, have you what done? Done? <laughs> I can see the bounce of the sun. I lobbed it off and bleached it. Yeah. I lobbed it off and bleached it. You lobbed it off and bleached it. That's well, what mine. we do. You did That's mine. What you do. I lobbed it off and bleached Blonde it. Blonde twins. Yes. Uh, guys, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for your nice time. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Thank Take you so it easy. Nice to you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.